Okay, so you've decided to buy a motorcycle. One of the questions you're going to have to ask yourself is, do I want a V-twin motorcycle or do I want an inline four type motorcycle? So let's take a look at these kinds of engine and see what the characteristics are of these engines and what we can expect from them. The performance characteristics I'm going to look at are low RPM torque, high RPM torque, horsepower, quarter mile performance, race car type sound, vibration, dependability, ease of maintenance, and last but not least, useful life. My Yamaha Varego is an 1100cc V-twin. It's got a nice sound to it and it runs very well but uh, performance wise it doesn't uh, compare very well to the inline four-cylinder engines. Let's run down some engine characteristics and uh, see how the two uh, basic styles of engines compare. There are many kinds of engines out there there's single cylinder, two cylinder, three cylinder, four cylinder, five cylinder, six cylinder, V8, all kinds of combinations that have been used on motorcycles. But the primary two types of engines that are on motorcycles today are the V twin engine and the inline four engine. And that's the kind of engine we're going to make a comparison on because probably when you go out looking for a motorcycle these are the engines you're going to find the V-twin and the inline four. The first characteristic we're going to talk about is low RPM torque. This is the kind of torque that you use at a stoplight to get your motorcycle going uh, when running around town at low RPMs and um, at low speeds, generally speaking. In this category, I'm going to give the V-Twin a 9 out of 10, and I'm going to give the inline 4 a 7 out of 10. The V-Twin in this category, in my opinion, is definitely the winner. The inline 4 uh, does a fine job, but not nearly as good as the V-Twin. The next category will be high RPM torque. In this category, the inline four is clearly the winner uh, because there's no such thing as high RPM torque on a V-Twin. Most V-Twins uh, redline at seven, eight, or nine thousand RPM where the um, inline fours redline anywhere from 11 to 14,000 RPMs. No comparison there. Inline four is the big winner in this category. In this category, the inline four gets a 10 and the V-twin gets no score at all because there's no such thing as high RPM in a V-twin. Next category is horsepower. Uh, in this category, the inline four comes out on top. Inline four horsepower can go as high as 200 horsepower, where most of your V twins max out at around 130, 140. A good deal of them don't even crack 100 horsepower. A good deal of them are between 60 and 80 horsepower. In this category, the inline four gets a 10 and the V-twin gets a seven. The next category is quarter mile performance. Uh, in this category, once again, the inline four comes out uh, way on top. I'm gonna give the inline four a 10 on this and the V-twin I'll give a seven. Um, there's no comparison. The uh, inline four is a much faster engine. 
Next category is what I'll call the race car sound. You don't want a motorcycle engine that sounds like a sewing machine. And unfortunately for the inline four, it's not that pleasing a sound, in my opinion. Uh, some of them are better than others, but generally speaking, the inline four sounds like a sewing machine. And for that, I'm going to drop it down to a seven, and I'm going to give the V-twin a 10 in this category because it sounds like a race car. It has a pleasing uh, kind of cool sound to it. The next category is vibration. Um, the inline four again comes out on top in this category. We're going to give it a 10. Uh, it has very little vibration and a good easy to ride um, motorcycle engine. The V-twin has considerably more vibration. Uh, it shakes you around, it can uh, rattle you around at higher speeds. Um, for this I'm going to give the V-twin a 7. As far as dependability is concerned, um, I'd say they're both equal. Uh, they're both uh, reasonably dependable uh, engine configurations. I'm going to give them both a 9 on this. Uh, the next category is ease of maintenance. Uh, for this, the inline 4, because it has four cylinders to deal with, which means at least four spark plugs, multiple uh, valves, etc. I'm going to give this a 7 for ease of maintenance. I'm going to give the V-twin an 8 for ease of maintenance because it has half the uh, number of cylinders and therefore it's easier to maintain. The last category I'm going to look at is useful life. How many miles can you get out of the engine? And I would say um, they're very similar. There's not much difference there. I'd give them both an 8. So to sum it up, the V-twin gets 65 out of a possible 90 points, while the inline 4 gets 78 out of a possible 90 points. I would have to say that um, from a strictly mechanical um, point of view, the inline four is a superior design and a superior engine in just about all respects. So you might ask yourself, well, why do we still have V-twins? Uh, the reason for that is the V-twin is cool. The V-twin has got a really uh, race car type sound and uh, bikers love that. The, on the, uh, as far as the uh, inline four is concerned it does not have a pleasing sound. It pretty much sounds like a sewing machine. Although this varies from uh, motorcycle to motorcycle and it depends upon the muffler etc etc but um, generally speaking the sound of a uh, inline four is not that pleasing. So anyhow, that pretty much sums up the difference between the V-twin and the inline four, at least as I see it. And in the long run, you're gonna have to make your own decision on that. Uh, take the units out for a spin, see how you like them. Observe what kind of motorcycles have what kind of engines and just uh, make your own decision on it. There is, however, one exception, and it's a really cool one. It's the Yamaha R1 with the cross-plane engine. You get all the advantages of the inline four, plus you get the cool sound of a V-twin. That, in my opinion, is the ultimate engine out there right now. Well, that's it, folks. Keep the rubber side down. Stay safe out there. Remember, there's danger everywhere. And remember, I'll be back.